very much. Uh, the Council on uh, American Islamic Relations says more than 750 incidents of anti-Arab or anti-Muslim bias have been reported across the country since October 7th. And joining us now to talk about this, Zainab Chaudhry is the spokesperson and uh, Maryland director for the organization known as CARE. Uh, Zainab, uh, we just saw Camila's piece a few moments ago. Mm -hmm. um, what is going on, especially on college campuses right now? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's just yeah. it's extraordinary. It is. It is definitely unprecedented. Uh, my organization has been putting in 18 to 20 hour work days. My team in the national office uh, just clocking long hours, responding to requests for assistance from community members, students, employees who are affected by heat bias in this very tense political climate. Um, and it, it's really not something that we've seen to this degree before. And uh, we all remember the senseless murder of uh, little Wadea, the six year old um, who was brutally stabbed to death by his family's landlord. Um, how is his family doing? And this is obviously very traumatic. Our Chicago chapter of CARE has been working with the family. They've been in touch with the mother as well. And it's very hard for her to have any sense of closure, I, I imagine, for her not to have been able to even attend the funeral of her son because she herself was in the hospital recovering. Uh, it's something that I think is probably going to stay with her for a very long time. Um, and unfortunately, there's a very real sense of fear amongst and concern anxiety amongst many of our community members who are witnessing the the implications of the genocide unfolding in Gaza here in our own backyards in our own places of employment our own schools and institutions and uh, you and I both remember what was going on in this country after 9-11 the level of Islamophobia that we saw back then um, are we seeing something uh, of a similar level right now would you say or is it worse I would say it's actually worse. Our organization has collected or received incidents, over 774 incidents between the period of October 7th to October 24th. Um, this is a 182% fold increase of any 16, given 16-day 16 period in 2022. And according to the Institute for Othering and Belonging by UC Berkeley, over 80% of American Muslims don't in fact report hate crimes and hate bias incidents. Um, so we believe that the actual number of these incidents is much higher. And it's very startling to us in this particular climate that uh, many community members don't feel support. that they will be handled with the kind of seriousness that they deserve. And the White House says they're going to launch an initiative to try to counter some of this Islamophobia around the country. Is the White House doing enough? enough? What needs to be done? So typically this would be very welcome news, especially in this very tense political climate, but it needs to be in, part, in partnership with the fact that many American Muslim organizations are calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The consistent dehumanization of Palestinians is fueling the hate bias that we're seeing within our communities. And the fact that there is no sense of any urgency to demand an immediate ceasefire on the, uh, the brutal assault on Palestinians in Gaza is something that it, it, it uh, detracts from the credibility of any kind of initiative that the White House might be unfolding. And they're talking about a humanitarian pause. D does that not go far enough? It does not go far enough. We believe that we absolutely need an immediate ceasefire. Um, the, de the, the toll on, on, on the humanitarian toll on the population in Gaza has been devastating and a humanitarian pause would not be sufficient. We need to make sure that obviously that there is humanitarian aid going into some of the most hardest hit regions within Gaza, but we also want to make sure that the communities there are able to uh, have a, ha, are, are able to recover from the, the brutal ongoing incessant assault over the last four weeks that they've been dealing with. The vast majority of these victims are, are civilians. Over 4,000 children have been murdered uh, or about 10,000 people have been killed that we know of. Many people are buried under the rubble that we don't know what the accurate number is. And meanwhile, President Biden is saying that he doesn't have confidence in the numbers that are being provided uh, of the death toll, which is unacceptable because that in itself fuels dehumanization yeah. of Palestinians and it contributes to the hate bias. And I, I know that some of our viewers are right now watching this interview and saying, well, what about Hamas? What is their responsibility in all of this? Do you blame, does, does some of the blame fall on Hamas? Look, we have 2.2 million people who live in Gaza, about half of which are civilians, are our, our children. Um, more than half of which are civilians. The vast majority of the 2.2 million population are civilians, about half of which are children. Um, to to justify the kind of impuni the, the, the kind of aggression that the Israeli military is waging in Gaza, the, the kind of airstrikes that are de uh, de demolishing hospitals and, and houses of worship and refugee uh, camps, it's unconscionable. 
right? And it's like if you were to take out a school shooter, you wouldn't uh, shoot up the entire school. You wouldn't bomb the entire school and kill every student within the school if you were trying to take out a, a mass shooter. Um, the fact that this is continuously being used as an excuse to justify horrendous war crimes and acts of atrocity that are occurring against Palestinians is unconscionable. And that's also unfortunately fueling the hate bias within our own communities. All right, Zainab uh, Chaudhry, thank you very much for coming in. We appreciate it. Hope we uh, get to around this issue and, and start to see some of this level of Islamophobia uh, coming down. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.